Hey guys, okay, so today I am basically going to show you how I completed the Storm Razor Part 1 series. It's not like the second uh, tier in it, but it is the first one. Um, so basically, here I am stocking up on everything. I just needed some extra food and wanted to see if I could um, update my artifacts or enhance them, as well as maybe get some things to help me during the battle. Um, so here I am teleporting back to the Storm Terror layer, making sure that everything's up to date. All my weapons are good. I have some extra food in case I need to take any food during battle. And we are off. Heck. Did you try to buy stuff from the cook? I actually didn't enjoy any of the food that they had at Good Hunters in um, Mondstadt, so I ended up teleporting to Lihui Harbor, or Lihue Harbor, um, to see if they had food. Here I am looking at the menu. I love it here. I actually wandered over here super early in my mission. There's my cat sitting in my lap as usual. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the chicken mushroom skewer is really good. It's super cheap and I really enjoy to grab this one whenever I see it because I know that it'll give me that HP back. Flour is always a good pickup because you can cook things with it as well as sugar and other things. But the Tavat fried egg I don't usually get because that's just to revive and eggs are super easy to find. Also, if you would like a video on where you can find eggs and whatnot for scavenging for food as well as recipes i would love to show you guys just leave a comment down in the description and i will try to make videos accordingly also another tip so here i am teleporting back to the storming terror quest as you can see I have picked up as many waypoints as well as the seven statues as I can because it not only helps you to teleport all the way around the map, but it's also awesome just to have. So because I'm only level 17 or 18 I believe in this for adventure levels, it does help a lot to kind of get out of, you know, Mondstadt as well as everything else. But here we are, so you accept the quest, if you're like me, I went and stocked up before I started it just because I knew that it would kind of be a boss fight. So here is our Storming Terror quest. I decided to go with my two melee champs, Noelle and my character, as well as two ranged ones, so I used Fiscal and Amber. I like them because their bow and arrows, if you update them as well as enhance them, are very strong and very useful for range. So right here you kind of see, you have to aim at those two like shiny things um, on Dvalin's back. They are the blood clots that are poisoning him. So you want to aim at these, it's super simple, it gives you a target. So for this one, just aim and fly um, so at the beginning it kind of starts off easy just keep aiming it's super simple I have a controller and I don't really use controllers so there I was trying to figure out if I could switch back to keyboard and mouse <laughs> and since I'm on controller I had to figure it out This one's pretty simple. You want to fly. If you're using a joystick like me, um, the left joystick is the one where you use to navigate, to dodge, and dip. Uh, try to avoid getting hit by the purple one since they follow you. If you continuously move, it's pretty simple. Although there will be some that hit you, it doesn't do too much damage unless you're directly taking hit by most of them. As you can see, dive, dodge, dip, and roll. <laughs> Do I even shoot when I'm flying and dodging? Next, 
this is the part where Venti is helping, kind of. So you want to shoot the green orbs and they will create a wind tunnel for you to fly through and speed up and catch up to Dvalin. Um, I find this very useful and super critical. There's no reason to shoot uh, other than the green orbs right now since you can't really aim at the two dots on Dvalin's back. Here I am trying to catch up and there's usually about four or five of these wind tunnels that you'll need to go through in order to be like right on top of Dvalin. So that was four right there. We're gonna do one more and then we should be good. <clears throat> oh, I missed that orb right there. And here we go. Another really useful tip that I um, kind of discovered as I went was I actually paused on the main storyline and I kind of adventured and leveled my champion or characters. Um, so she is currently at a level 40. Most of my other champs are also at level 40 or 37. Um, I find that leveling them as well as leveling and enhancing their weapons uh, is very useful. So definitely do not hesitate to farm everything, to kill anything you see, as well as try to get that extra XP. Okay, so I kind of sped up this part of the clip just so you guys wouldn't have to keep watching me fly in slow-mo. <laughs> right, here I am just trying to get the last few hits on his blood clots, or what they call them. <laughs> last wind tunnel and... Here we go. So it's super simple for that part of the mission. Um, I think it was just to get the hang of doing these fights as because there are so many tears in this quest or in this domain as they would call it. I love the cutscenes in this video game. It is freaking awesome. The amount of quality they spent to put together these quests and like this game all together, it is super satisfying and super nice that they would love to invest in their supporters because who doesn't want to spend money on a game that treats them well? So as you can see here, I'm starting off as Venti. Venti does a lot of damage with his wind powers. Um, so as you can see, there are two wind tunnels on the side of each platform. And you can go to different platforms. As you can see in the background, there are very multiple different platforms. I actually didn't even realize that you could go to different platforms during this, um, so I just tanked everything. But as you can see, he's a super easy range champ. Here I am dodging, hitting his claws. You want to hit the claws. They are doing damage to him. They will knock him down. And then you want to target the blood clot again. Here we go. It's kind of hard to aim with the range champs um, because it is kind of like aimbot. It's kind of crazy that it will do random things if you're not in the right zone. Um, so here I am trying to dip and dodge, getting those wind tunnels back up. Oh gosh. So I actually fell here, which is super funny to me. <laughs> um, but I had to, I think I had to restart here. So I ended up completing that section of the fight. Um, so see on the floor, there are these purple fusions or infusions or whatever they want to call them, protrusions. <laughs> um, 
basically these will burn you if you're fighting on them. So if you're like me, you're stubborn and you just want to do the damage. So I did that here, taking full damage, walking over it back and forth. <laughs> but you can go to the left and to the right. Um, eventually I get him to fall down. Also, when he goes to attack you, and he does this sweeping motion with his head, it'll go underneath you if you're flying in the corner. When you pound down on the floor, which is using your main ability, uh, which is your, like, your auto, it will stomp you onto the floor next to him like this. And that does a ton of damage. So here I am climbing up him because my melee champ is lame. Changed my mind, I have a ranged champ. <laughs> Here I am, and getting back out of the way because his flying damage is a lot. Here I am, whenever he lands, you want to try to hit their feet and get out of his way. I'm taking full damage here, had to get out of there. Changing champs and seeing if I could revive anybody. So here I am feeding people. <laughs> making sure that the main champ, Venti, is fed. He does the most damage for all of these. Okay, I'm switching. I did end up taking a lot of damage this run um, just because I was still figuring it out but here I am coming to help you guys. And so eventually I do end up switching platforms but I just wanted to see if I could beat it on these main platforms that we started on because why not? <laughs> here he is doing his sweeping motion, he usually does a sweeping motion and then he will do a damage like a sweeping, there we go and pound. He's down and it is the last thing so you want to use your second ability eventually. Oh. <laughs> oh I couldn't get the character to aim right for this unfortunately. And then I decided to try and figure out how to get to the other platforms. Here I am reviving him. Since I did have a bunch of Teva eggs as well as the shish kebabs. Or the, I think they're called like mushroom skewers. <laughs> Those are super useful. So also, if you are scavenging in your first 10 adventure levels, pick up everything, all of the mushrooms, all of the potatoes, everything. Um, also, if you can get some boar, it will assist you in uh, making food that will revive your characters. So right there, that was the first transition to a different platform. Here I am getting into this wind tunnel, dodging the dragon. <laughs> kind of thinking on what I want to do. Dodging and diving and trying to get to that last platform. As you can see, there's no blue cracks on the ground, no damage, no burning damage. Um, so I actually ran out of food during this run since I ended up eating it because I wanted to adventure so far. I got into a few fights with some trash mobs that actually did a ton of damage. We are on the last stretch of this fight. So here we go, we're waiting for him to do his initial attack. Alright, dodging. Don't forget to sprint to dodge and dive. 
kind of waiting for him to do something here. I wasn't sure what he was doing since I wasn't doing any of these attacks prior. Waiting for it. Diving and taking as much damage as possible. If you hit his head, it makes him fall faster. So here I am trying to aim at the blood clot on his neck. These are the last few hits before winning and got him. So there you have it. Um, I hope this cleared up a bunch of questions for you guys who are doing this for the first time. Um, those are the things that helped me eventually. I do want to go back and maybe potentially do this faster since I know everything that's going on now. Um, but yeah, just switch platforms and try to aim for that blood clot as fast as possible. If you use your secondary abilities over its head, it should do a lot of damage to him um, because this is a lower level thing and I'm kind of out leveled for this. And here's a super cute cutscene of Venti and Dvalin. It's so adorable. <laughs> So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. I do plan on making more of this series and as, as well as adding the adventure book a quest. Um, I'm going to go back and make a bunch of videos with those. But thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this, if this helped you, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. I would love to connect with you guys and learn about your adventures in Genshin Impact. All right, let the wind guide you. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Uh, hmm?